Well, as the Nashville community continues to heal from the nation's most recent deadly mass shooting here at home, school districts are doing their part to try to keep children and staff safe. WXI Tulsa Kara Peters spoke with the two biggest school districts here locally and a national school security expert. She joins us live tonight in Winston-Salem. Kara, what did you learn? Hey there, Kenny. Well, it's likely that many parents are wondering what exactly are the security measures in place when we see another deadly shooting. And tonight, like we mentioned, we are hearing from school districts on the safety measures in place that parents and families may not be aware of. I also spoke with a safety expert, a school safety expert, who says this takes a group effort. A citywide vigil taking place Wednesday evening to remember the three children and three adults killed in Monday's school shooting in Nashville, a community holding each other close during this horrific time. School leaders are facing more unknown unknowns, things that you can't predict, can't see on the horizon. Ken Trump is the president of National School Safety and Security Services based in Ohio. He says what we've seen recently in school shootings is not limited to just public institutions. And we've seen an uptick in private schools requesting security and emergency planning evaluations, especially in the last five years. We want educators to be situationally aware, mindful of what's going on around them, recognize abnormalities and pattern, and then shift their thinking to be able to make quick decisions under duress so they can address the threat that they face on very short notice. Here in the triad, school districts are making sure they are implementing more practices and resources to keep everyone safe. Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools, breaking down a detailed overview of measures in place, like proper protocols for doors, certain requirements for visitors, and school resource officers stationed. This also comes following recently approved funding for more access control devices in the elementary schools. And for Guilford County Schools, a spokesperson for the district sending a statement on 12 new safety strategies introduced this school year, including updated cameras, a clear bag policy at athletic events, and more security screeners at high schools, among others. Overall, Trump says when it comes to school safety, it takes a team effort. Safety has to be a part of the entire school's culture. Everyone thinking about safety, greeting and challenging strangers in the hallway, reporting something that's unusual, being aware of what's going on at drop off and pick up time and in the bus area. These are the things that really make a difference. And, and it's in the nuts and bolts. There are no quick fixes. Any security technology is only as good as the weakest human link behind it. Now, I also asked Trump, what are the conversations that parents and families should be having amid situations like Nashville? And he reminds people to always be talking with their kids and to remind them that there are people that are working hard to keep them safe. And in the event that they do have some concerns, to always say something. We're live tonight in Winston-Salem. I'm Kara Peters, WXII 12 News.